guys, welcome back to my channel. You're watching The Brown Feminist. So this week, I've tried to bring you guys some ideas about how you can build a little home office corner within a studio apartment. Since the beginning of the pandemic, I've had to start working full-time from home. I've been doing nursing school from home. I record my podcast, do my YouTube channel, everything from within a little space. So I had to get really creative and create um, a very versatile and functional, comfortable, but also kind of a pretty little space where I would feel productive and where I would actually enjoy doing my work. So I hope you guys enjoy this video and it's useful to you as well to create your own customized little home office corner. And please share your um, suggestions down in the comments below. Don't forget to give my video a thumbs up and subscribe. Thank you. I've been using my table for a whole bunch of different things, starting from my YouTube channel, podcast recording, all of my office work, as well as some of my school work. So it really had to be a really versatile space for me, while also considering I wasn't able to invest a lot. I live in a studio apartment. So all that considered, I'm going to show you exactly how I went about kind of transforming whatever I already had. And of course, it started off with a good cleaning of my desk area. So you definitely need to have a study desk, enough space to put down your study desk and just give it a good clean, dust the area, get everything out that you don't really need. Uh, the second thing is to choose what I call the tabletop essentials. For me, it's two different uh, laptops, so one for work and one for school. I don't like to have too many unnecessary things on top of my desk. I do keep uh, some pens at times, but I do have a second space for them as well on my bookshelf that I'll show you later in this video. My mouse, my wireless mouse is connected with that little um, stick out USB thing on the side of my laptop. A little coaster. I do get thirsty when I'm working for long hours and I like to keep my nice water bottle either with cold water or sometimes even with some berries and mint or lime water in there. So this is something I sometimes keep on my desk. It's a really cute marble themed contact charger where I can just kind of throw on my iPhone in there if I need to pick it up quite a bit. And then I, of course, have my amazing desk lamp. This was from Ikea. I bought it a couple of years ago. Not super expensive, and it's just the perfect size. So I suggest putting away all of your books in the correct shelves. Uh, the ones you use the least or the ones that are the heaviest should be going in the bottom shelf. Now, as you can see, having too many different colored, multicolored filing and binders don't always look pretty. So I will also be showing you in this video how I made sure that didn't happen. So I went up to the dollar store and picked up a bunch of these. They're not super expensive, between one to two, three dollars each. And over the last couple of weeks, I've tried to like slowly phase out all of my multicolored binders and give them away or sell them off or share them with anyone who needed them. And just moving on to like a monochromatic look. I really recommend if you can pick one pattern or one color that's right for your workspace just to kind of move over to that gradually. You don't have to go ahead and buy all the binders on the same day. Um, but try to move towards a one color or pattern that you really like and that really gives it a much better look. So one thing that I really recommend doing is like customizing the top and the sides. So in this video, I'm showing how you can like take off the top and then print some really nice um, covers. So you really know where everything is. You don't need to open all these similar looking binders every time to find out. And even the way that you write down stuff, if they look very similar and have a color theme, then it just looks very elegant and it just, I don't know, it just puts me in a better mood, guys, um, when I see that everything's like really pretty and in my workspace as well as very functional. So 
So major part of adulting is of course keeping a track of all your documents and everything. So I live by myself, I pay all my own bills. So I definitely need to keep track of all my utility bills or any kind of bank loans or student loans you might have. Um, in uh, Ottawa, Canada, you also need to have um, tenants insurance whenever you're renting. So I have those things. So it's really great to kind of have them each in their own binder. So if you ever do need to look for them, you don't have to go through a bunch of different things. I know a lot of people have been going digital and that's really good to save on paper. I still have some things that still come in the mail and I haven't moved to digital yet and in case I ever lose access to a computer or a cloud it's just safer for me to have at least some records that are in print so there I have gone ahead and printed it um, using my amazing printer by the way I'll tell you guys a bit more about it in a little while but um, this printer has just really been incredible for me ever since I got it so I have them in the front covers here and they're just set they just look amazing So you can see it looks pretty disastrous. I actually got this for free. One of my old workplaces, they were throwing out these shelves and I don't know what they're called, like some kind of paper tray. And I had this stuff that hadn't been put away and it hadn't been cleaned. So I got this opportunity to do some DIY and kind of upscale this. Um, I only got this black spray from a craft store for about $6 on sale. And I didn't want it to be like all matte or pitch black. Um, I wanted it to have a little bit of the gray seeping through to give it like a really interesting look. And that's basically what I was able to achieve. So I was pretty happy with the end look. And I hope you guys can find a way to customize it to whatever color theme is in your workspace without spending too much money, without having to go ahead and buy a whole bunch of stationery, which we know can be pretty expensive. So if you can find things secondhand or just hand-me-downs or something you someone threw out, um, it can be great for organizing your stuff. So I have my printer paper in there, which again goes into my favorite ever printer. And I've used the other shelves for keeping things that you would have in an office, like my envelopes, like different sizes, large and small. I have some um, craft stuff, some label pages, mostly to do with the printer. I also have some photo glossy paper and stuff like that. I do like to get creative sometimes and do DIYs or even for my workplace, I sometimes need them. And of course we have the beautiful white uh, monochromatic look now of this um, shelf with all my white binders. And I have like some other stuff right here. I'll show you. This is my favorite notebook again from the dollar store. And this is kind of where I write down all the ideas I've been having for my YouTube channel. And yeah, if you guys just want to line them up, I still have to go a little bit ahead with my monochromatic look, but it's a work in progress. So I could do a whole video someday about why this printer is amazing. It's like the fifth printer I've got it in my lifetime, but it's really been doing the job. So you have this second shelf where you can put in these cutout photo paper to print like photos just like a store and then you have a separate tray for the pages. Um, so my shelf is pretty done. The office is super useful and accessible. I have all these pull out little baskets where I keep my tape, any kind of electronics. Sometimes I have my microphone for a podcast recording. So it's, it's just a really set up office space for me within such a small space. I have my desk, these baskets within my desk where I can keep um, really important handsy things like a stapler, a sharpie and things like that. I have my desk that's just beautifully set up and I hope I've been able to help you guys with some of these tips and tricks. I hope you have a really productive time during the pandemic, doing your schoolwork or office work right from home. Bye!